What is up you guys, my name is Tristan Mitten and I'm gonna show you how the supply theory can fast track your business from zero to $100,000 a month. Now the most important part in fast tracking your business from zero to 100K is gonna be advertising. Now why is advertising so important? Most people think I have to come up with a brand name, website, product, service, all these different things that really just aren't important. The reason advertising is the most important part about your business is because that's gonna be the number one way that you're gonna go from zero to $100,000 a month. Now, whether you advertise from cold calling, Facebook, Google, it doesn't really matter. Figure out four to five industries or sectors that you're, let's just say, somewhat or interested in and take those industries and I want you to advertise in all four to five of those in different ways. Now, what this is going to do is you're going to find that one out of those five is going to take off, meaning for every dollar you put in, you're going to get the highest return out of those five different products or services. Now, the reason this is so important is because now that you've found your golden ticket, you can take that product or service and now scale it from zero to 100K. Now, yes, this sounds very, very simple and easy and obviously it's not that easy it took me two years to go from that zero to hundred thousand dollars a month let me give you a good example drop shipping which was really popular five ten years ago still is popular takes a method where they take multiple different products e-commerce usually from alibaba or aliexpress and they blanket advertise across all these different e-commerce products and figure out which one is going to give me the highest return on my money meaning which product is the least saturated and has the least supply. And if they take a product that has the least amount of supply and some demand, if not high demand, then they're going to make those advertising dollars go much farther than if they were to go into an industry with a product that has an extremely high supply of competitors and saturation. Now, the problem with drop shipping is they don't take it to the next step, which is, implementing brand identity. Now, the reason brand identity is so important is because people don't like to buy from brands and people that they don't know, which is why Coca-Cola, which has been around for 100 to 200 years, is one of the most well-known brands is because they have developed their brand identity and they have not swayed from it basically up until their time of conception. Now, like I said, once you've figured out that product or service that you have advertised and you realize, okay, this is the least supplied product or service in the market that I'm trying to advertise for. So now at this point, you need to figure out your brand identity. By figuring out your brand identity, you're going to create a product or service that people are gonna to wanna to keep coming back to buy over and over and over again. And even if you're a one-time, let's say one-time sale, high ticket services, you always want to incorporate some type of reoccurring, um, whether it's you know between a, a trailing 30-day repurchase or even a 10-year repurchase. You take an industry, let's say, for example, HVAC or plumbing, and you go in and you replace that HVAC unit for $15,000. A customer's not going to need your services for a very long time. Now, if your brand identity is dialed in, which you take some of the biggest HVAC companies in the country, and you look at their brand identity in 15 years, 10 to 15 years when that same customer needs that HVAC replaced, they're going to go with that same company that still has that same brand identity because they know and trust them from the first time they did the service. So brand identity, I promise you, is going to be the number one contributing factor to your longevity and the overall customer acquisition that you're going to bring into your business. So that's number two. Now, the third most important part in the supply theory is becoming your only competitor. What do I mean by that? Let's take water bottles as an example. You take a water bottle from Walmart, a case, let's say a 50 case costs you three dollars and thirty cents um that 50 case per bottle you know let's say it's 60 cents a bottle right now that case of bottles is extremely cheap because why because there is a high supply in that grocery store walmart knows anybody can get water from basically anywhere it's a commodity 
Now you take that same water bottle and you put it in the Jet Stadium, let's say for example, in New York, right? That same water bottle is now going to sell for, let's say 20 times, let's say 60 cents. You can buy a water bottle for around $10 in one of these you know, big stadiums. Now, why is it that that same water bottle that goes for 60 cents in Walmart is now priced at $10 in a big, large corporate stadium? The reason it is is because of supply. They know the only place that you can get that water bottle after screaming, shouting for your team is going to be at their concession stand. And so this is the same type of theory and this is the same type of dichotomy that you need to take into your business meaning that you need to become your only competitor creating a service or product that people can't compare to others um, let's take chewy for an example chewy is a, a profound company they do billions of dollars in revenue at the time that they sold they were the largest e-commerce sale of all time now why did chewy become so successful they took an industry that let's say dog food has been around for years and with the upcoming emergence of e-commerce and Amazon and being able to ship products to your door, they took an industry that's been around for, you know, let's just say 100, 200 years in pet food and they made it easy and simple to deliver it right to your doorstep. Now, they, they went into a sector that is extremely saturated. You have tons and tons of different pet food, pet food distributors and suppliers all over the country. But they took that same industry, that concept, and they advertised and then realized, okay, we have something here. And then they took that and they created an industry that wasn't there already. And so what they did is they became their own competitor in a market that had an extremely high demand, but low supply for people to receive it right to their doorstep. Now, I promise you, if you use these same tactics in your business, you're going to take your business from zero to $100,000 a month, just like I did in a very short period of time. Find areas in your industry or sector, and I promise you, you'll make your life much easier than having to fight through all the competition and all of the, hey, you know, we got a quote here, we got a quote here. Build your own product or service that is not compared to by your other competitors. Now, I hope you guys like this video. If you did, feel free to send me a DM. I'll be happy to help you go through your business and see different ways that you can use the supply theory in your current business. Like and subscribe, and I hope to see you guys on the next one.